Welcome. Today we are going to give you some tips for getting your device running smoothly. You will learn what to do if you have a loss of echo, how to create an echo profile, how to conquer obstructions by creating an auto false echo suppression, what to do if you have loss of echo. First make sure that your transducer has a clear line of sight to product material surface. Second, make sure there are no signs of damage on the transducer cable. Now we will show you how to view your echo profile. Once the device has been programmed, press the right arrow to enter the program mode to view your echo profile. Using the up or down arrows, highlight maintenance and diagnostics and press the right arrow to enter your selection. Highlight diagnostics and press the right arrow. Highlight echo profile and press the right arrow. It will take five to 10 seconds for the echo profile to display. Now you are able to view the conditions of your application. Next, let's familiarize yourself with the screen. On the right-hand side, there are five icons. Using the up and down arrows to navigate and the right arrow to enter the selection. The first icon moves the cursor left or right on your echo. The second icon moves the cursor up or down on your echo. The third zooms in on your echo. The fourth allows you to take another echo. And the fifth exits and takes you back to your echo profile. Across the top of display is confidence, algorithm, and distance. Now scroll down to exit on the right-hand side of your screen and press the right arrow to return to program mode. Press the left arrow three times to return to run mode. Next, we will show you how to conquer obstructions by creating an auto false echo suppression. Here is an echo profile with a reflection at 100 centimeters and 250 centimeters. The unit is selecting 100 centimeters as the material surface, but after a visual inspection, the true material is at 250 centimeters. The reflection at 100 centimeters was created by an obstruction in the vessel. You have two options to fix this issue. One, relocate the transducer, or two, create an auto false echo suppression. To begin, exit the echo profile screen. Press the left arrow twice to return to the main menu. Highlight Setup and press the right arrow. Highlight Signal Processing and press the right arrow. Highlight TVT Setup and press the right arrow. Highlight Auto False Echo Suppression and press the right arrow. Highlight On and press the right arrow. Scroll down to select Auto Suppression Range and press the right arrow. Use the arrows to modify the Auto Suppression Range. The Auto Suppression Range should always be half a meter above the actual material surface. For our application, use 200 centimeters. And once you have put it in your Auto Suppression Range empty, press the right arrow to highlight OK and press the right again to accept. Highlight Auto False Echo Suppression and press the right arrow. Highlight Learn and press the right arrow. The Auto False Echo Suppression will then learn to the value you have input for your Auto Suppression range, for example, 200 centimeters. Return to your Echo Profile to verify that your Auto False Echo Suppression has worked and it is now indicating the correct material surface. Hopefully these tips have helped you get your device running smoothly. For more information, please visit our website.